I saw a lot of YouTubers suddenly recommending Duke's Mate. Here you first have to choose which distro you have or if you want to install something from Flatpaks or Snap and then you just mark things that you want to install and here it will give you a command which you then can copy and then you paste this to your terminal and it will install everything. Of course you can save this in a file and then just make a script for it or you can just download the file save it and then when you open it you get a file like this that does who knows what i don't even care but basically what you need is just these three lines from all of this text and whether you are a beginner or not i would suggest you to not waste time with this instead of make your own scripts to install software so how do you make a script to install your software as a beginner well first you open an editor whichever you want and when you make a script the first lines you want to add are this this is just to tell your system that this is a script and also you can save file as .sh so if editor has syntax highlighting it will just give me the ones for shell script and then you just uh, start writing a command that will install a specific program and on arch that would be sudo pacman s and the name of your program but instead of just writing that your script asking you for every single package do you want to install it you can just add these two options and this means that it will not ask you any question and this means if it's already installed it won't reinstall it and with genie you can press ctrl d and it will just duplicate the, the line and you can add another program ctrl d and then you add another program and you do that for every single program that you want to install and that's it and then you save your file and after saving you just go to properties permissions and allow this file to run as program and that's it now when you want to install software for instance in newly created machine you just type in dos slash and pack distro it will ask you once for your sudo password and then it will install everything that you put in that script and as you can see it went just fine and you can save this file wherever you want i usually put it on github just so i have it always in hand and this is how you install software that you actually want and every time you find something new you can just add it to this script and every time you reinstall your machine everything is already in one place now this is just the basic and before you ask me why do you put every program in its own line it's simple if you for instance don't want to to install uh, some program for whatever reason you can just comment that line and the next time you start your script this won't be installed because if you had a line like this you will just have to delete that program but if you need it again you will uh, have to edit so this is just a quicker way of deciding if you want something installed or not now this is great if you have one distro and that's it but let's say you want to install all these packages but on ubuntu or fedora clearly this command won't work there so instead of rewriting everything what you can do is create a variable that will just uh, replace this command let's call it in for install and this will be for arch and you can add a comment with arch and now you want to change this command with dollar sign and the name of your variable and you just want to replace everything in selection just so it wouldn't change this part and now your script will read this as this command and the name of the program but when you go to say ubuntu you can just copy this line and in ubuntu command is sudo apt install minus y and then you just comment this out and now when you start your script for package manager it, it will just use this command and you can also add one for fedora also just copy paste this line add dnf comment out uh, this line and now you will install all these packages with this command the only problem is that different distros sometimes call packages with different name for instance i know this for sure arch the new find calls fd and the rest of the distros call it fd find why because arch has to be different of course and you can even add one for open source and now that you have all your software in one script you just choose in which distro you want you just comment out everything that 
that you don't need and just delete the comment from the one you need and this is how you install everything easily on whichever distro you are but that's not all i told you in my previous video that i install everything as flat packs as much as i can if application actually works as a flat pack and i install only command line tools from distro packages and if i can't find something as flat pack then i will also install it as a distro package or whatever i can find and here you can see there are no flat packs that is because i recommend that you make a separate file just for flat packs why because flat pack name will always be the same and will never change and if you want to make a separate file for every distro with its packages and the name that distro uses you don't want to change a bunch of files for the same thing so let's make a script for flat pack you start again the same as before with the line that linux know it's a script now depending on which distro you use you will either have to install flat pack or it will already be installed and this is where things are actually very different for instance on arch you can only install it with ea or paro on ubuntu you install flat pack as to the opt install flat pack i won't be putting in this installation in this script i can expand on installation scripts in some other video this will just be about software so let's say flat pack is installed so first thing that you add after this line is to add a Flathub repository and this will just add it if it doesn't exist and this is the same for every distribution and you can save this file again as a script just so you have some syntax highlight so now that you edit a repo you can add a command you can add a command for installing Flatpaks just like here and I will just call it Flatpak install so what this does it will install Flatpak packages from Flathub repository and this is very important that you add Flathub because Fedora has their own flat packs and they make it as default so so you don't want to be locked in their flat packs so just you have same version on every distro just put a flat hub and minus y of course for yes so you wouldn't be asked for every single installation do you want to install it and from that the process is the same dollar sign flat pack install and the name of the flat pack now since things can't be simple because why would they if you go to flat hub and for instance you want to install a package you can go and click on this arrow and here you will see the name of the application and this is the name you want to put in your install script so so as you can see here you already have a command but without epsilon so you just put this name and you have to do this for every application that you want to install from flathub but the good thing is you do this only once and you don't have to do it ever again because you will have it saved as a script so now that you picked up all the names of all the applications you want to install you can just add new application in this file and as before you can just comment out if you don't want to install something but you want to have it here just in case you change your mind the one advantage that i also forget to mention when creating this script when you put an application in its own role and since flat pack names are sometimes really stupid like this one after a while i won't remember which application this was so i can just add a comment and put the name of the application in that comment and this how I know what this is and also if you have a lot of flat packs already installed and you don't want to search for the names again you can just open your terminal you run this command and this will give you just the name of your applications and then you go and copy this selection i will just create a new file you paste it and for instance if you are in genie you will just put the cursor in front of the first name press ctrl shift and then you will just with your mouse pull down and then you just add flat pack and install and that's how you quickly get script for all your flat packs that you already have installed for distribution packages it's not that simple because i don't think any single package manager just gives you the name of the applications that you specifically installed it also lists the system packages so i won't be covering that in this video so with these two scripts you already have all the software you want to 
to install on any distribution you want the one thing that i also do is to make a script to remove software and maybe you want to keep everything so this file is really optional and to expand on all this what i would recommend you do is to create another file that will actually run these two scripts and why do you want to do that is because you want to have a log of stuff that is installed and what hasn't been installed it got some errors stuff like that so you start with first line that this is a script you can save it and considering that all the three files are in the same folder you can just run the script and this will just uh, run scripts and now if you make this one executable and you run the script you will just see on your screen what is being installed and what not but as you can see already there is some error and this is because like i said fd is called differently but you don't want to sit in front of the screen and just scroll back and look at what was installed and what not so instead of just everything being printed on the screen you want to make a log file just so you don't have to sit in front of the computer and you can review all the messages later so first of course i will create a variable for the log file just so so everything is much prettier and I will call it log and I will call it install and I will put the date just because now that I have my log file I will want this file to when it's installing to write everything on the screen and write everything to a log file and for that you use a t command and a means append meaning that every time I run a different command it will just add it to the log file and not overwrite the log file and you can do the same for flatpacks and to make everything even more readable you can just add a title so you know when something was started and here i will just say install packages and after this i will just say install flatback and now when i run again the script of course i installed everything with the script before so now it's keeping most of it and now that your script is finished you can go to your folder from where you started the script and there will be install log file and you can just go through it and see what happened what was installed what wasn't and stuff like that and this is pretty much how you make your scripts for installing software of course when watching all this you might think well this is so much longer than just clicking on certain program and just copy the command but remember this thing you do only once and this thing you have to do every time you want to install something this is nice if you come to a friend and you just want to quickly install some programs and you don't want to bother with distro syntax and typing in the names but this is how you install software for yourself and you can do this from the day one you just copy paste what i've shown you here you just change the name of the applications you want and of course the more you learn and you want to automate more and more things you can just add things to this file and make more scripts and add them to this file uh, during the installation but that's a topic for another video and that's all